This video is going to show you how to get the name of the current active printer from Microsoft Word and then later how to set that as the active printer. So you need to have the developer ribbon showing, um, which I'll show at the end how to do that if it's not. And from there, if you go to Macros Create, it will take you into, hold on. macros. I don't want a name in here. I'll give it a name up here. Um, get printer name. Create. Okay, this takes you into the normal template new macros module. And if there's already macros in there, you'll see them and you'll be down at the bottom of them. And you want to have the immediate window showing. Oops, I'm just trying to size this to fit my window here. Um, so go to View, Immediate Window, or press Control G. And that turns this little window here on. Let me get rid of this text that's in it. OK. Then in Microsoft Word itself, you want to set it to the printer. Oops, sorry. that's from the wrong computer. Go up here. You want to set it to the printer whose name you want. So I'm going to act like I'm going to print. So Control P or File Print, and then I just need to make sure that whatever printer I want to get the name for is set. Now I don't need to print anything. I can just go back to home to click out of there. But that's now my active printer for Word. So now when I go back into the code where I'm going to do my macro, what I want to say is debug.print space application dot active printer. And when you see what you want, you can press tab or click on it to get to go in. All right, now if I run this macro, and I can do that by clicking the little green arrow here on the toolbar, it gives me the exact name of this printer. And you can copy from here so you don't do a typo accidentally. So I just did. I pressed Control C on my keyboard. So then the macro that would set that as my active printer, I would name it sub and then something. So I'll say set my printer. Open print, close print is necessary. And then I would say application dot active printer equals, and then that name in quotes. So I'm going to paste it. Control V, paste it. And that should do the trick. So let's test it. So I'll go back to Word, and I will set it to something different. So file print. Let's do the XPS printer. This is a virtual machine, so I don't have a lot of real printers set up with it. But um, go back to home. And now if we go to file print again, it should still say that. File print. It does. OK, let's try running our macro. So go into the code. Here, set my printer. And we'll run it. And now let's go into Word. There it is. And look under File Print, and sure enough, it set it to Brother. Now, the cool thing about this is that it doesn't just set it for Word. I mean, I guess it's cool if this is what you want. But it sets it for the system, it seems. So if I, for example, if I go to Excel, and I act like I'm going to print, it should also be printing to the Brother printer that I chose. So here's file. It's going slow, sorry. File print, brother. Now let me go to WordPad, which has nothing to do with Microsoft. It's just a part of, um, comes with Windows. OK, sorry about that. I had it on another screen. I just minimized everything and dragged it over here so that we could see it. So this is WordPad. I happen to have it open. So now let's see what happens if I, and I don't know what's going to happen. I've never tested this. But if I act like I'm going to print, 
it's going to the brother printer too. So, um, so there, that should do the trick for you. Back in Word, I said I would show how to turn the developer ribbon on if it's not on already. And the way you do that is you go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon. And by default, Developer is not checked under the tabs in Word. But once you check it, it will appear.